Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna be making Caribbean cornmeal porridge. If you grew up eating this, you know it's delicious. If you don't, let me show you how I make it. We're gonna start by adding a cinnamon stick into the pan. Next, we're gonna add three cups of liquid. I'm using one and a half cups of evaporated milk and then another one and a half of regular whole milk. You can definitely do this using just coconut milk. That would be delicious or just whole milk. It doesn't matter, up to you. Next, we're gonna go in with pure almond extract. We're gonna add about this much. So we're gonna go in with some cinnamon. Do not judge. Yes, it's store brand. Inflation is real. Check out my pot and pan set. If you know, you know. Next up, we're gonna be adding that cinnamon I just showed you into the milk. We're gonna put about this much. I like it nice and cinnamon. This is my dog, Teddy. He wants to come inside. We're gonna add in four tablespoons of white sugar. I like it sweet, but not too sweet. You know what I mean? Just enough to get you going in the morning. If you like it sweeter, feel free to add more. Next up, we're gonna go in with our fine yellow cornmeal. When you pick this up in your international section of your supermarket, you're gonna make sure it says fine on there. I'm gonna add about five and a half tablespoons of that. If you like it thicker, you can go ahead and add more. If you like it thinner, you can add less. You'll see the consistency in the end. I like it really creamy. So we're gonna add that in. I'm gonna let you know now, I'm doing this with the flame off because we don't want it to get lumpy. Doing this with the flame off gives the cornmeal a chance to absorb some of that liquid and swell up and just not get as lumpy as it would if we did this with the flame on. So once you feel like the cornmeal has dissolved a little bit, you're going to go ahead and turn on a low flame and keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Do not stop. Once it starts to thicken up, you can go ahead and kick up the flame. This will take about in total maybe 10 to 20 minutes depending on... I don't know. I don't know what it depends on. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes less. Just have patience with this because it's really good in the end. So once it reaches your desired consistency, you can just go ahead and plate it. And of course, finish it off with a little bit more cinnamon and the cinnamon stick you had. I usually like to finish mine with a little bit of honey on top. I didn't have any on hand, unfortunately, but it's still good nonetheless. So if you guys enjoyed this recipe, check out my YouTube channel, Erica the Creator. I have a bunch of Caribbean recipes on there. Some stuff that you would really like. A lot of cheese-centric recipes. My recipes are mostly Puerto Rican, so if you're interested, be sure to check that out. Make sure you give my videos a thumbs up. If you like this one, like it, share it. Until next time, bye.